Hello everyone, welcome to Encryption, the tech tips and tutorial channel. This video will teach you how to copy files to a remote server using the command line in Linux. This lesson will be useful to you when you want to copy a file or a folder from your local computer to a remote server or remote PC. Not only from the local computer to the remote, but also you can copy files or directories between the servers that are in the remote locations. That is from one remote host to another remote host. So let's get started. Let's assume I have a folder or directory on my computer and I want to send it to a server in a remote location. I can easily achieve it if I have an SSH access to the server. Let's check if I can log in to the remote server using SSH. To log in to the remote server via SSH, type the username at IP or hostname of the remote server and then hit enter. Type the password and hit enter. If the credentials are correct, you will be able to get access to the remote server's console. Checking the Linux distribution with cat space slash etc slash os dash release, you can see it's a Ubuntu 20.04.5 LTS server. Before copying files or directories to the server, I want to create a directory here on which the file will be copied. Clearing the screen and long listing the contents of the root directory, we can see the new directory is created. Let's get into the new directory using cd and the directory name and typing pwd and hitting enter, we can see the location of the directory printed on the screen. We will send the files to this location of the remote server from our computer. My friends, up until now we have just grabbed the background of the lesson. Now let's move on and copy or send the files. For this, I open a new terminal. For your information, this is a Windows computer but I can run Linux commands using the git bash software. And this is my local computer's terminal. I change the current working directory to downloads using the cd command and listing the contents, we can see some files and directories. Out of them, I'm going to copy the site files directory to the remote server. To copy or send a file or directory, we can use the scp command in Linux. scp stands for secure copy. So let's copy the folder or directory to a remote server using the scp. For this scp space hyphen r, the local uh, file or directory location and name space username at ip or hostname of the server colon the remote server directory path where the file will be stored. Here you should use a hyphen r option if you are copying a folder or directory. But if you are sending or copying a single file, the hyphen r option is not required. After you hit enter, you will be prompted with the password. Type the password and hit enter. Copying the file or folder from the local computer to the remote server begins now. We can see the files on the directory are being copied to the remote location recursively. After the copy is complete, to verify the file reached there, go to the remote server's location and run ls space hyphen al command. You will see the directory copied there. Okay, with that we have learned how to copy a directory to a remote server's directory. Now let's move on and learn how to copy a file such as an archived file to a remote server. On the local computer's terminal, let's create an archive of the directory named site files using the tar command with hyphen cbgf options, the archive file name and the directory name. The archive is created now. Again, listing the content, we can see the archive named site1.tar.gz. Finally, let's copy the file to the remote server using the scp command. Type scp. We don't need uh, the hyphen r option now because we are copying a single file. The file name root at ip or the host name of the server colon the remote server's destination directory path and hit enter. Enter the password of the remote server's uh, user and hit enter. If the credentials are correct, the file will be copied to the remote server securely. To verify, log in to the remote server. Go to the destination directory path and run ls-al. We can see the file is copied there. 
In the same way, you can copy any type of file or directory from one server to another or from one PC to another PC using the terminal in Linux. In the next video, we will learn how to copy a file or a directory from a remote server to the local computer or from the destination host to the source host. I hope the video was useful to you. Please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. See you on other videos. Till then, have a nice time. Goodbye.